Hi guys, Games Boy here. We're here playing Absolver. Yeah, it looks like a cool fighter. I've played it for a little bit, and so let's get into it. Alright, new game. We're gonna play online. Hopefully, have some of that seamless gameplay. Uh, Alright, so the origins just seem to change the skin color of your character. I don't think they have too much effect on the actual game yet. Um, I'm gonna go with Orate. And you've got choice of being male, female, or we'll stick with male. And look at all the different haircuts you have. I wish you could look at your character, like turn it around with the haircuts, but you can't. Um, but yeah, they're the different kinds. I'm gonna go straight with wild. And all the different hair colors as well. I'm gonna go straight with orbit. Next. Alright, so there's three combat styles. This is the Forsaken, it's a balanced combat style with a slight focus on strength. Active ability is parry, its difficulty is three stars. Blocks completely the attack and stun your opponent. Um, I played this one when I first gave it a run and parrying was actually really hard. Like, you only have to go in two directions but I struggled a lot. So I won't be doing it this run. Um, there's the Kalit method, which improves mainly strength and vitality. Active ability is Absorb. It is one star and dismisses the stun of the attack. The lost health can be recovered. And it looks okay, but it's not really what I'm looking for. I think Windfall, which improves mainly dexterity. Its active ability is Avoid. It is two stars and difficulty avoids and slows down the attack, which seemed to be more my playstyle, I was dodging a lot and trying to get out of the way of attacks rather than just taking them or parrying them off. So I'm going to go with this, uh, yeah, this combat style. Let's go better click next. Alright, let's name our character. Games Boy here. Accept. Alright, we are in. Now, I really like this art style, it's really cool. Reminds me of Massive Chalice, although I haven't really played much of it. But, yeah, it's, it's neat. So, uh, alright, let's get exploring. A combat deck. A combat deck has four stances, each start with different attacks. Enter each stance once. Right trigger, wild wild. attacks. Change your stance, allowing you to change smoothly with other attacks. Uh, yep. You see down the bottom. Show that statue. Some attacks can have special properties. Axe kick that door open. The trigger to guard. 
Oh, here's all your emotes. So, victory jump, yeah, bend, I don't know, over here, sad, no, no, no. I'm not going to go through them all, but let's go with this one. Oh, of course. Oh. Guard also allows you to cancel attack if pressed immediately after attacking someone. Oh no! <laughs> oh, the faint! I didn't see that coming, did you? Ow! <laughs> oh, too easy! Knock, knock! Find and defeat a slam. Get out of here. Ooh. Oh. 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 Yeah. We just got. Met. Oh. Equipment. Forgot. All right. So. Prospect mask. Mask given by guides to prospects who come to Tower Point without having carved their own. Some say the broken eye was made in homage to Simeon Scar. We now have the Labyrinthine Prospect Mask. Someone has engraved labyrinthic prop patterns on an original prospect mask. Maybe to reward those who had faith early? Right into the Oration Priest Mantle. Multiple layers of wool and golden plate on the shoulder. The mark of an early adopter. That's the up one. That's down to dark left and right. I'll mainly be using left and right, because that seems to be the easiest ones to pick. Prospect Undertop. Simple nomadic cloth, light and sturdy, given to at tower point to those who come in rags. Here is our first boss. Oh! Oh, what a duck! It's incredible! Oh, I keep dodging right into it. I've been playing too much for honor and tried to do a guard break. Basic Linux tunic keeps its wear cool in summer and warm in winter. And we've got the Oration Priest tunic. A keeper's tunic embroidered with gold. The priest was chosen among those who arrived early and left late. I'll try to help you as you progress, but if you lose yourself to the fold, I won't be able to save you. Interesting mask. Those who wear the mask are not all your enemies. You know, I will not attack you. That's good. When you are safe, you can enter meditation and practice your combat deck. Alright. Meditation. Combat deck. Alright, so attributes combat deck. Walk offs. Alright, so practice. Um, in combat deck editor. In the practice mode, you can edit your combat deck's stances. Neat. Edit. Alright, so. This is where you can kind of put together, like, combos and stuff I found. So on your left, you got your, like, standard attacks, which is generally X, on if you're using a controller. 
and you've got your alternative attacks, the ones that change your stances and stuff. So, if you have a look, if I start in this stance, when if I press X, and then X again, I'll end up in this attack and then I'll just follow through with that. But then if I press what I, I'll do this particular attack, which then puts me in this stance, so I'm faced like, uh, my combat deck will be to the bottom left, but then if I press X again, it's going to do this attack and put me into the top right stance, which then I can go back to pressing X, these particular attacks. So as you can see, they do like 40 damage, 60 damage, and it's got a particular symbol, so I think that's, un no, that's unblockable, so I'm not sure what that symbol means. But yeah, so you can kind of make up combos based on the different stances you end up at the end, so you can be like X, X, Y, X, and you're back up to here again. We can go X, X, Y, Y, X, and back up to here. This here, I can add a particular, I guess, attack. Um, if they got the tick there, it means they're already in the deck and just gets moved. So for now, it looks like these two are the ones that are free. And I just realized if you look at the symbol, it's got um, kind of your fighting style. So this is the... I forgot what my fighting style is, but I've, um, I don't remember the symbol. So at the top, right next to it, if I click on it, what happens? Yeah, there we go. It shows you whether or not strength, dexterity, or mobility increases its, I guess, damage power and whatnot. So, I guess the more I have based on my attacks, the, or my fight style, the better. Because my, I guess, dexterity is quite low. It's only doing 49.8, I'm guessing. Oh, look, it does it. I can jump. Avoid low attacks with this one. Oh, this is, there's so much stuff is happening in this one. Um, just learning all these things. Oh, breaking attack. So stop charging attack. Strong impact on guard break. Okay, here let's absorb ability. Oh. What's this one? Stops charging attacks. Alright, so that symbol is the stopping charging attacks. So sort of an explosion. Is. So yeah, that's how you can make combos and stuff like that. So I've spent way too much time trying to explain that. Uh, prospect gloves, basic armband of raw cotton woven in the southern ripper. Given to prospects arriving at tower point. When you learn new attacks from others, you will be able to use them in your combat deck. You may not need this right now, but it will be useful when you face tougher enemies. Keep on your path until you reach the ruins of Razlan. There you will find others like you, determined to become absolvers. Walk without fear, we will meet again. And prospect trousers. Solid fabric with ample cut, given to prospects arriving in Nadal in rags. Oration priest pants. Usually refined, these pants have been embroidered with golden patterns, probably to reward the priest for their unwavering faith. <coughs> oh. Alright, that was really badass. Too bad. Oh, just walk straight into that. And our prospect shoes, leather soled boots, part of the standard attire given to ill equipped prospect volunteers. Alright, so as you can see at the top, just over here, got the weight which affects the mobility, and then you get the protection of the blunt and cut, so obviously protecting the blunt against the blunt and cut, and here we've got the total values. 